There is so much talking now about all the benefits of having a huge amount of time to spend at home. But we all know what's gonna happen in reality, right? I work from home and I know exactly what happens with your home staying if you have good intentions, but you don't do anything active about it. This video is not about random things that you can do while staying at home. This video is about actually useful things for your life that you can do with your time being forced staying at home. By useful, I mean either healthy activities or activities that are going to enrich your life not only for today, but also for years and years to come. Before giving you the list of my 11 inspiration, let me give you the key concept of this video. This is truly the key concept. Without this, your good intentions are gonna last for four or five days, maybe a week, but not further. And nobody knows how the situation in the world is gonna evolve, but we know that it's probably not gonna be just a matter of a couple of weeks. So. The key concept is write, put black on white, write down. You know that notebook that somebody gave you as a present years ago and it's stained dusty on the bookshelf? Well, it's time to put it in a good use or grab whatever paper and pen you have. And what you need to do is to write down right now, right wh while watching this video or anyways today, write down the good intentions that you have for these weeks that you're gonna be forced to stay at home. Just write a list of things that you would like to do. This is crucial guys because otherwise, believe me, very few of them are gonna become reality. I'm gonna start with two number zeros because these are very very basic things and they are clean your home and make it cozy. I'm thinking about all the people in New York that I used to spend most of their time during the day outside on the streets, in the clubs, in the bars and, and so on, in the restaurants. So they don't take care of their house that much. So for all of these people, I suggest you to just take a couple of hours, clean the entire place and make it cozy somehow. Because if you have to spend time in a place, you want it to make it feel like home, which is maybe not how your apartment feels like right now. Another number zero is learn to cook healthy. And okay, everyone can do a little bit of things, but I don't mean just melting cheese in the microwave on something. I mean, actually cooking something healthy, something very simple, but healthy. It's very important to empower our immune system right now, right? And let's go finally with the real list number one. Fix that one thing that's been broken, out of space or untidy for years. A bicycle that's been having a flat tire since last summer. Those arts that have been lying on the floor. The storage room. The kitchen cabinet. The closet with that 90% of clothes that you barely use. Your collection of books. All those videotapes from the 90s that you wanted to digitalize. Number two, grow or regrow plants. In the North Hemisphere, March is the month to sow most of the plants we know. Now is the moment to keep all those containers from industrial food, rinse them, fill them with soil and spread some plant seeds. Depending on the plan, in three to 10 days, you will start seeing some fresh green little dots in the soil that will eventually start growing and growing in little miniature plants. When the miniature plants are going to be tall enough, they're going to be able to be transplanted in bigger pots or cases filled with soil. Or of course, in your garden, if you have one. But if you don't want to be bothered with soil and proper plants, you can regrow some vegetables. I'm doing it with carrots since a couple of days, but you can do it with so many other plants. Number three, take an online class of something. Make a research on Google. If you're lazy and have no idea what to choose, just pay a $10 monthly fee on Skillshare or Udemy or platforms like that and just choose one of their classes. Try to pick one that is long and complex because you have time to spend now and the longer it is, the more valuable it's gonna be for your life in the future, probably. Get back to the hobby that you forgot because of Instagram. Remember when you used to read books 
hours and hours per day? Remember when you used to build wooden models of sailboats? Remember when you used to do crochet? It's time to go back to your forgotten hobby. Better if it's something manual. We need to go back to do something creative with our hands rather than using them only to scroll on social media the entire day. Number five, pick one exercise routine from the internet and stick to it or make up one of your own. Well, especially if you live in a city and you're not able in this moment to go for a walk or a run outside of the apartment, remember that staying fit is crucial at this point. 15 minutes per day, 30 minutes per day, two hours every couple of days, you decide. Most important thing, make it fun and possibly involve other people in your house. Number five, get bored or meditate. Right now I hear many people complaining of getting bored because they have to stay home. Well, my simple suggestion is learn to get bored because boredom is such a huge trigger of creativity and it's also become such a rare thing in this era where we are constantly entertained by something. If you're someone who gets bored very easily and who struggle with it, it's the best time to learn to meditate. Meditate means doing the most useful mental activity while doing literally nothing. So once you will learn how to meditate, you will never get bored ever again in your life. Number seven, start fermenting food. Fermentation is a culinary art that's been producing people's best medicines for thousands of years. It can be a bit complicated, like in the case of making cheese or soy sauce, but it can be as simple as fermenting the vegetables that you have at home. The big problem about fermentation is that it takes a long time, from a few days to a few weeks. Well, now you have a lot of time, so what better activity than fermenting carrots, bread dough, fennels, cabbage or beets? Eight, communicate with your friends. You know those times that you end up texting with some of your friends that moved abroad and you say, let's call each other one day, and you never do? Well, now it's the moment. Text them again and fix an appointment for a video call. You're gonna be so happy about it that you will ask yourself why you haven't done it before. And please video chat also the people with whom you hang out every day usually. A good idea is doing a group chat, it's gonna be fun. Number nine, listen to some good music. Forget Spotify for once. Forget all those services of fast listening music. Here's what I suggest. Pick one album from whatever artist comes to your mind, even if you don't even know the artist yet. Listen to the entire album from the first track to the last track. While you do so, you will have time to go on Wikipedia or whatever website you want and read some information about the artist or the album. It will give you such a better and more passionate experience about listening to the music itself. And you also get so many other names of other albums, maybe even of other artists that you wanna listen after this one. Number 10, it's actually two tips, very random for ideas that I would like to do and I couldn't pick one, so I give you both. Try to make some new beverages. For example, in the winter, I cannot drink coffee and I always struggle to find something warm and milky to drink in the afternoon, you know, to warm up. So why not find it now some recipes and try them out? Experimenting in the kitchen is the best thing, right? Another completely different thing that you can do is take a dance class. You're home alone? Or maybe you are with your mom, with your partner, with your friend. In any situation you are, if you have a big enough space, you can just put an online class and learn dancing. It's gonna be a good exercise at the same time and it's gonna be fun. Okay, the list is over, but I can't stress enough the importance of actually writing down a list of things that you wish you could do in these next few weeks, because good thoughts are very often shaded by bad habits. And if you're too lazy to write down, I actually prepared a PDF of this list. If you enjoyed it particularly, you can send me an email and I will send you the PDF. You can print it or whatever you want. You know what? 
we'll probably spend hours and hours of our days watching Netflix or something similar. But finally, we will get bored of it at a certain point, or if we have a moment of productivity in our days, at least we will have an actual list that we can take a look at and pick one activity that is different than watching television, and it's something that we know it's good for our life. Here's Mary Jane from Italy, currently in New York City, wishing all of you a fun and productive homestay. Bye-bye!